Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, got technical difficulties with my other camera. Uh, won't hook up to the computer. I'm having real issues with it right now. It's really making me angry. Anyway, tonight I'm going to throw together some baked spaghetti. Uh, make it up a little bit different. My grandma used to make this really delicious baked spaghetti. Uh, it was really simple. You know, you make the spaghetti, throw it in a pan, throw some cheese and sauce on it, and then bake it for a little bit. Uh, it usually came out really good, but uh, I'm going to spice mine up a little bit, do a little bit different. Uh, make a three cheese and basil uh, baked spaghetti recipe. Uh, right now, I've already done a little bit of meal prep here. Uh, I got my sausage, hot Italian sausage cooked up. Got some onions chopped up, some oil heating up. I'm going to throw some garlic in there, and I'm going to caramelize the onions a little bit. And then throw in the tomatoes, get cooking. Got my spaghetti cooked. You want to cook the spaghetti just a little bit less than done, I guess, uh, what, al dente or whatever. Um, and then throw everything into the pan, into your baking dish. Bake it for a few minutes and have at it. Anyway, uh, I'll throw up the recipe online uh, when I get a chance. I gotta make this video quick because I'm using my phone and I don't have much memory on there. Um, anyway, I'll show you real quick. I do have the basil pesto made up. I have an awesome recipe that I got from a really good friend of mine. That recipe will be included as well. Anyway, uh, let me get this stuff thrown together and I'll get right back with you. Oh hey! Anyway, I uh, got my garlic cooked up, the onions softened up. Went ahead and threw in my crushed basil tomatoes. I used about half this can. That's about all it called for. I couldn't find a smaller can. Uh, what you want to do is heat it up over medium heat. Just add it right in with the, the garlic and onions and oil. Heat it up over medium heat until it starts to boil, or uh, bubble, sorry, bubble. Like it's starting to do, as you can see. Turn that heat down to low. Let that sit for a minute. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then you throw in some spices, uh, salt, pepper, um, it's already got garlic in it, so I won't throw any garlic powder or anything in it. Just a little bit of salt. Probably throw in a little bit of pepper. My favorite thing to do when I make spaghetti, um, I think it makes the sauce. I just, usually I'll buy like a cheap sauce from the store. And then I'll add my own spices and kind of um, jazz it up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is grab some oregano. I'm trying to do this all one-handed, it's weird. That's in some oregano, uh, a little bit of parsley. I never really have a set amount, I just kind of toss spices in at random. Not too much, not too little. And then, my secret ingredient, sugar. I throw that in all of my sauces when I make spaghetti just to sweeten up that sauce. I like a sweet sauce. I don't really like you know, I don't know. Cause I'm not a huge fan of tomatoes. So I like to just make the sauce good. Anyway, um probably about two tablespoons. Stir that all together. Delicious. I can already smell it. It smells so good. Uh, with big spaghetti, most recipes just call for regular tomato sauce, but um, I am making a tomato and basil pesto one, so um, I'm going light on the sauce, not as much. Spaghetti's done, not quite cooked all the way, al dente, if you will, and then uh, I'm going to throw everything in the pan, I'll get right back to you. Alright, started throwing everything into this awesome big old casserole dish. It's my lovely wife works for Tupperware. We get all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, this is actually part of their baking line, and I think it's pretty awesome. So you don't have all the Pyrex stuff, you know, it's really nice. Anyway, uh, toss the spaghetti in, toss the pesto inside of there. Uh, add about a cup of ricotta cheese, which is like the greatest thing to ever hit the face of the planet. 
and then a huge handful of Parmesan cheese. Uh, just start mixing it all together to coat the spaghetti. Whoa, extreme close up, sorry. Mix all that up. I'm going to go ahead and put you guys down here and get back to you once I start adding more stuff. Alright, so after I mixed up the spaghetti with all the pesto and everything else, the cheese, and I tossed in the sausage, mixed that in, made just enough sauce to cover the top of that spaghetti, which is perfect because I wanted that basil pesto to really pop. I don't want that tomato sauce to really overpower it too much. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and throw this into the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes. I'm going to pull it out, toss on the mozzarella, and then I'm going to broil that until the mozzarella starts to bubble and kind of, um, I don't know, harden, I guess. Anyway, I'll get back to you guys as soon as it's finished. Alright, well, uh, I ended up baking that at 350 for about... It turned out to be about 17 minutes before I could really uh, felt comfortable that it was baked well enough. Uh, I tossed on a whole like two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese just to top it off and then I sprinkled some more shredded parmesan on there just to give it a little bit extra flavor. Uh, sprinkled a little bit of oregano and just a touch of cilantro on there. You can already see that the mozzarella is melting but I'm gonna throw that back in the oven uh, probably just keep it at 350 and keep an eye on it make sure that that mozzarella melts really nice and toasts that's the word I was looking for was toasts anyway um, I'll get back to you with the finished product done perfect and oh my god if you could smell this oh that is gonna be amazing uh, unfortunately, I have to wait until tomorrow at lunch because we're doing a potluck for the class that I'm in um, to actually taste it. So, anyway, um, I ended up broiling the the cheese just so it would get crispy and melt quicker. That Parmesan doesn't like to melt very easily. But anyway, uh, like I said, I'll throw the recipe together, post it with the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry I had to film it from my phone. I hope it turns out okay. I guess we'll find out here shortly uh, when I'm done editing it. Anyway, uh, questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. Leave them on my Facebook page. If you guys haven't liked my Facebook page, please go to facebook.com slash chefcrappy. Uh, search me on there. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, comment. Please, 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 if uh, you want, give this dish a shot and then let me know how it turned out. Anyway, guys, thanks for sticking around and uh, I'll talk to you later.